even after you decide that we're going to have to inherit your decision. And so I hope you decide carefully. Uh, the name of Hermosa means beautiful. And I don't think that this oil project will enhance the name of the city. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening. My name is Dr. Steve Horowitz, and I live at uh, 2121 Pacific Coast Highway, Hermosa Beach. Um, I recently wrote a um, letter to Councilman Bowler and um, had a, an editorial published in the um, Daily Breeze, and I just rather read just a couple of sections of it very quickly. And for those of you in the audience, perhaps um, there may have been copies, and they should be made available to you. I think the thing I'm most astounded by this evening is the fact that we're even here tonight to have to try to undo something as bizarre as the drilling of oil in the most beautiful city that we all live in, that we call Hermosa. Why are we even here having to undo such an extraordinarily bizarre concept like drilling in a small, beautiful town like Hermosa Beach? That's number one. And as I, uh, I'll just read you a couple of excerpts. Um, we're going to hear from the oil lobbyists reassuring us with all kinds of so-called safety and environmental studies showing that oil drilling will be safe, odorless, blah, blah, blah. Did you ever wonder what they told the folks in El Segundo before they drilled over there? Next, um, somebody else had mentioned a little town called Avila Beach. Could have easily just as, just as easily been Hermosa Beach. See, they promised them all kinds of stuff up there also, but then they had a little oil spill, um, maybe about 400,000 gallons of oil recently. This was the Unical folks. And um, they said something about all the money the town was going to make through the oil drilling. Well, what happened instead, according to uh, the attorney up there, was that, quote, Avila Beach will be virtually out of business for at least 18 months. There has never been a cleanup project in California with the impact on a community that this one will have on Avila Beach. That's a quote from the uh, attorney up in that little town. Now, the last thing I'd like to say, I think, is that uh, we're going to be barraged with reports about how harmless the drilling will be and so forth. Uh, Mr. McPherson wrote an article in the paper where he said that any, quote, hydrogen sulfide that might be in the gas will be removed at the McPherson production facility, and hence the gas will be non-toxic. Well, it just so happens that a coastal report is quoted as saying there will be hydrogen sulfide in this project. And the report states, hydrogen sulfide is the most dangerous industrial gas known to man. Low levels create a terrible odor, asthma, burning eyes, and nausea. Higher levels can quickly be fatal. Now, who would you like to believe, the McPherson Report or the California Coastal Commission? Finally, I'd like to say it sounds a lot like um, Another line that uh, Mr. McPherson stated where he cited um, the benefits, quote, that were going to come out of this project. And he indicated that, quote, we look forward to continuing our involvement in this community. Now, unless he means that he will volunteer to live and raise his family at his site here in Hermosa, then I suggest he share his benefits elsewhere. Now, Thank you. The final thing I'd like to say is to, to the good people on the council. You can stand with McPherson. You can stand with us. We're your constituents. Stand with us, and we'll stand by you, whatever the consequences are. You do the right thing. Mr. Edgerton, you said you wanted to know that this project was safe. You heard the experts tell you it was not safe. We are with you. Stand with us. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Yeah, John Burke.